Why does your PlayStation 4 take so long to copy the file after it's already been updated? What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going to be talking about that but we're also going to be giving you guys information on how to speed up the process with your PlayStation 4 copying the file after it's already been downloaded. We're going to give you guys more information on different issues that can occur and also give you some other solutions. So the first thing that I actually wanted to start with was why does it take so long to copy the file? So one thing that it took me a while to actually understand was uh, it doesn't matter how big the download is for the game updates. The game update could be 15 megabytes, it can be 15 gigabytes. Um, that part of it uh, usually doesn't take that long, depending on your internet connection, of course. Um, but the download usually doesn't take, uh, you know, even a fraction of what uh, time it takes to actually copy the file to your PlayStation 4. Why is that? Well, when you do a game update, uh, what it does is it doesn't just add it to the existing file. No, it ha actually has to copy everything all over again. So let's say uh, Destiny 2, for example, is 80 some odd gigabytes, right? Uh, we'll add the game update to it and then copy all of that all over again. Uh, you're going to have to wait a very long time. Last night I was playing Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 4. Well, at least trying to play Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And it was a 15 gigabyte download for the update. And Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is 100 gigabytes. So I had to wait uh, for the 15 gigabyte to download. And then once it downloaded, um, the system has to copy 115 gigabytes. The entire game with the update has to copy all over again. So I hope that helped and answered some of your guys' questions. Now there's some things that you can actually do to speed up this process. And if you see or notice your PlayStation 4 going a little bit more sluggish, you can actually go into safe mode and uh, rebuild the database. Uh, this is safe. It shouldn't uh, affect your PlayStation 4 at all unless you have some corrupt files or files that are not being used. Um, those will actually get wiped away. Um, and that's why, you know, rebuilding your database uh, can be a good thing. It's kind of like going in and doing the disk cleanup on your PlayStation 4. Um, now, I don't recommend going into safe mode all the time. I usually personally do it about six months and just go in and rebuild the database there uh, and have never had any issues whatsoever with rebuilding the database. In fact, it makes my PlayStation 4 run just a little bit faster. I, I do this with my old PlayStation 4, the original launch one. I do it with the Slim and the PlayStation 4 Pro. Yes, I have three PlayStations at home. I got a problem. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, let's move on because I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering Okay, besides, uh, you know, uh, going into safe mode and rebuilding the database, what are some other things that you can actually do? Well, you can upgrade your memory to an SSD and that will speed up not only your PlayStation Home menu, but also uh, game load times uh, menu in the games will run a little bit smoother if you notice a little bit sluggish or laggy. And then also when you copy the files, if you have an SSD, those are typically faster than the original hard drives that are built into it. So if you guys are planning on upgrading to uh, you know better storage, SSD is honestly the best way to go. It is a little bit more pricey though, and that's why some people go with external hard drives like your boy, um, which I guess I'll just wait for the, the, the thing to copy for about an hour. <laughs> Another thing that I actually wanted to talk about and uh, something that a lot of people come across when you're using an external hard drive with your system storage is you gotta make sure that you have enough room for the game updates. And the first thing that you wanna do is check to see where the game is actually located. So you can go into the game, you can go into the information and you can see if the game is saved on the system storage or the external hard drive. Because if you've ever noticed like your PlayStation 4 is updating a game and then it just stops and tells you that you don't have enough memory, but you go and you check and you got enough memory on your uh, external hard drive, but it's not updating, it might be because your game is actually safe to the system storage. So it doesn't matter if you have an external hard drive, what matters is where the game is actually saved and located. So if it's saved on your system storage, you might have to delete some things off of your system storage in order 
to actually, uh, you know, um, have enough room for the game update that's located on your system storage. And that goes vice versa for external hard drives too. But I would recommend if uh, the game is really large and you know that it's going to constantly do updates, um, if you don't have any data caps, then I would recommend you guys actually delete the game off of your system storage and then save it to the external hard drive. Uh, if you guys have a lot more room on the external hard drive, then uh, at least you won't have to worry about, oh man, <laughs> you know, it didn't download the update because it didn't have enough room. Um, you'll have a little bit more cushion as opposed to like the system storage. And then also, um, you know, you don't want to max out your system storage because that can also cause your PlayStation 4 to go a little bit slower. I usually give it a little bit more headroom than the PlayStation 4 system does itself. Um, but I'd love to know you guys' thoughts and questions uh, in those comments down below. If you guys have any other questions in regards to game updates and copying files and your PlayStation 4 going a little bit slower than normal, I'm happy to answer them, uh, you know, Sometimes when I make these videos, I get overwhelmed with like a lot of questions, uh, but I do my best, trust me, to, to get back to you guys as soon as possible with whatever questions you guys might have. So I hope this video helped you out. Make sure to hit a like, a comment down below, support your boy. And if you guys are new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on, and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.